In this tutorial, what I'm going to actually walk through is two ways to create digital downloads. And the first way, and probably the easiest way, is to use Canva. And so with Canva, you can decide you know, what you want to provide your client or the buyer in particular sizes. So for example, <clears throat> I've already have up here that I'm going to create a custom size that's 16 by 20. So by creating a large size like that, the client can then decide to scale it down and there's thunder happening around here. <laughs> so they can scale it down to like an eight by 10 or a four by five. It's kind of whatever they want to do. The key is to keep the number of pixels per square inch at a high. So you wanted to scan in your image at least 300 DPI all the way up to 1200 DPI. Now with Canva, there is a size limitation on how much you can upload. So you're probably not gonna be able to do that 1200 DPI one, but likely to be able to do that 600 DPI. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this design in 16 by 20, again, so the client can scale it to a four by five ratio if they would like to when they purchase the digital download. So it creates my page for me. And I already have some images loaded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it and drop it. Then you download it. Really is as simple as that. Now you have a scalable digital download that you can put up on Etsy. When you bring up the Photoshop file, it's gonna look something like this. So what these are, they're actually art boards and they're in the ratio size that you need. The neat thing about ratio, uh, art boards is you can create as many of these as you kind of like, as your system can handle to create various uh, sizes of the same image. So if you think about, for example, you've got Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, all of those require different size images, but that might have the same content. So this is something that you can create to handle that if you don't use Canva. So in this particular instance, I've put together this template or what I use as a template to replace the content every single time to create these uh, files that I can then use as my uh, digital downloads for Etsy. So I'm gonna actually show you how to replace and kind of use the file that I'm providing. If you wanna create your own, I've included a link in the course materials to a really good YouTuber that provides great instruction on Photoshop. And uh, that way you can always kind of get the latest and greatest of how to do this and do it, uh, create something that you can reuse and use and everything. So that's kind of what I did for you, for you guys. I'm creating a template. So over on the right hand navigation, you'll see your layers. And so each one of these is kind of uh, its own grouping. So you can see like this. And the way that I've set it up is the grouping, I only really need to replace one of the images. So how I do this is I'm, I'm always tempted, I gotta tell you, I'm always tempted to right click on the image itself, but that's not correct because it's not gonna give me what I need. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the layer right here, right click on the layer, and I'm gonna click replace contents. So then I'm gonna go find an image that I want to replace the contents with. And I'm gonna click place. So notice it popped it into all of the artboards. And now I just gotta go in here and resize them. So I'm gonna click on it and do control T to transform. And once I've kind of got it where I want it, I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to do that for each one of these. Control T to transform. Control T. Control T. 
And I'm going to hit Control plus to zoom in. And I'm going to hit the command, I mean, sorry, the space bar to kind of scroll up. This is going to, the space bar allows the hand tool to show here. And that way I can move around. And I see a couple things I need to fix here. So I'm going to make that, like that. Like this one, I need to nudge up just a little bit. So I just clicked on it and I'm using my arrow keys to nudge it. Control minus will allow me to zoom out. Okay. And once I've got it the way I want it, then I'm gonna export the files. So I'm gonna go ahead and click File export, export airbo artboards to files. And another little dialog box comes up and I'm gonna choose the destination and I'm just gonna choose like a temporary folder for myself. And I'm gonna give it a prefix name of catacorn because that's kind of what this one is. And then you wanna make sure that you've got artboard content only, include background and export, JPEG, then you check this little export options. That way you can control the quality of it. Include ICC profile and click run. So now what it's doing is it's creating individual files, JPEG files, for each one of those artboards that the, then you can attach into Etsy. Or whatever shopping platform that you use. And done. So now we're gonna go take a peek at those. So in my downloads folder, you can see right here, here they all are. Catacorn four by five ratio, 2.52 megs. I'm looking particularly at the megs because I know Etsy has a limitation of uploading 20 meg files. So I just wanna make sure that I'm within that threshold and I'm looking really pretty good right here. Okay, if you get high above it, then you're gonna definitely want to uh, compress the files by doing a right click and send to compress. And that's this, kind of the same way on a Mac, you still wanna right click and uh, compress. And then you simply upload them to your Etsy. So provided in the downloadables so over on the right hand panel, um, I put a sample download and print guide. So this is kind of what I provide to my clients. And I also be sure to notify that this is copyrighted by me and I have all the rights and that they are only to use this for no commercial use in any way allowed. So <laughs> that way it ensures that my copyright is protected in this one. Uh, is registered with the Copyright Office um, of the United States, so I do have legal recourse if I find out if there is anybody that's distributing my artwork without my permission. So um, this is some of the information that I provided to you. You're welcome to use that to craft your own messages. And so this is what I provided them, the four by five ratio, four by six, what they can print for it. It's just, that way they don't have to do the math because <laughs> I'm, I'm not good on the math either. Um, and depending on, you'll you need to actually update this name depending on what you're using. Okay, so that's it. It's really relatively painless, especially after probably about the third or fourth time that you do it. And I recommend doing these things in bulk. So like if you have 10 paintings or 10 pieces of artwork that you wanna create digital downloads for, make a day of it and get them done because it's uh, easier to do these things in batch processing than do one today, another one tomorrow, and that sort of thing. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, just pop them into the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer those. Thanks guys. See you soon.